The next level down would be our transport layer. Now the transport layer is responsible for end-to-end -end transmission integrity. So the application layer says, I want to send a message to another machine. Your web browser says, I want to send an HTTP request for a web page to www.yourdomain.com. He passes it all the way down. The transport layer is responsible for making sure that the message gets there in its entirety on the other end. And when the response is received, he'll take all the little pieces that may come in and put them together. He provides this logical connection between the machines, which supports the session layer's concept of an open session. He also ensures message delivery. Now, that's an important part because at this layer, this is where TCP, UDP, and SPX operate, different protocols. What happens in these protocols is that we will send messages. We'll take the message from the application layer and break it down into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are then sent across the wire to the other transport layer logically. So the transport layer is going to ensure that if there's a piece of a message that I didn't receive, it's up to the transport layer to decide what to do with it. One mechanism is to manually acknowledge that, yes, I received this message. So what would happen is the sending, the source machine, would send a message and he would wait for, let's say, five seconds to receive a response. If the target machine does not say, yep, I got message 12, then the source machine would send message 12 again. That's one way to handle it. Each protocol at the transport layer has his own set of rules how to handle or guarantee message delivery. And that, again, is one of the areas that this protocol, the standard layer, requires. That if you're programming a protocol for the transport layer, you must ensure that all messages are going to be delivered to the other end.